Good morning, Met fans. Happy Friday to you. Well, another series, this time against the Nationals, and another series win. We have yet to lose a series this year. So you know what that means? That means we're doing pretty damn well as a team this year. And hopefully we can keep the ball rolling again this weekend against an American League foe, the Seattle Mariners, as the Mets come back home and take on Seattle. Now, what a game yesterday. Taiwan Walker didn't have his best stuff per se, but he was gritty. He wasn't relying on strikeouts to get the job done, but he pitched a masterful game yesterday. And uh, just what the doctor ordered, the Mets weren't really hitting yesterday. Only three guys got hits. Mark Hanha was the uh, hitting star. And in our podcast on New York Mets Baseball A Life, we're going to focus on Taiwan Walker's effort and Mark Hanha in general. Uh, what he has meant to this ball club. What a great addition both have been. Walker last year, Kanha this year. Uh, we are going to examine, are the Mets an elite team? We're going to delve deep into that in the podcast. So you'll want to check that out. And we have some expert commentary from the SNY Baseball Night in New York panelists on what they think. Do they think the Mets are a top elite team? Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they have to say. We'll hear what they have to say. So check that out, too. Uh, what else do we have going on? Uh, we talk about the leadership on this Met ball club from Buck Show Walter on down. It is amazing, and every player they've acquired this past offseason, whether it be Conha, uh, Eduardo Escobar, Max Scherzer, Chris Bassett, not only are they great players, and Escobar's been a little struggling offensively so far this year, but they've all been leaders on the field, and that is one quality the Mets have lacked in previous seasons, and that is so good to see. And we got an audio clip of Buck Showalter talking about all the leadership qualities that these guys bring to the ball club. So you'll want to check that out, too. And did you know that Robbie Cano is now a Padre? We're going to tell you all about what happened there and the details behind that transaction. Uh, like I said, we're talking about Mark Conha, huh? and we'll be delving deep into... Uh, Jared Kalenic and the Mariners and what we can expect this weekend series. We got Mad Max going Friday, Chris Bassett going tomorrow, and Chris Bassett's going against a heralded Seattle prospect who is doing very, very well this year. We'll tell you who that is and what we can expect from him going forward. Uh, and we talk about a lot of talk about the prospects, about Brett Beatty and Wilson Alvarez. One who was flying under the radar, who was part of that whole shortstop crew that came up through the minor league seasons, such as Ramirez and Rosario, who are now departed, is Ronnie Mauricio. And we're going to tell you why big things are expected of Ronnie, and will he fit into the plans as a shortstop, as a Met? And if not, where will the Mets put him? That's an interesting uh, take that the Mets are going to have to look at, because Mauricio has really bulked up. He's a big dude now. If you ever watch any of the minor league games on MILB, you'll be impressed by how much he has bulked up. So you'll want to check out the podcast on that. We talk about what Ronnie's doing in the minor leagues and is he's doing is he is doing as well as we had expected. And then we go back as we always do into history on the podcast, New York Mets Baseball Way of Life. And we talk about the fact that, did you know that Gary Gentry almost pitched the first Met no-hitter in 1970 against the Cubs? We're going to tell you all about that and why he failed to get that no-hitter. It was a little bit of controversy involved, and you'll want to check it out. And then we talk about Buzz Capra. Remember Buzz Capra? He went on to be an ERA leader for the National League one season. We'll tell you what season that was. But in uh, 1971 or two, I 71 it was actually, he pitched a gem against the Giants. And we'll tell you why he was the hero both offensively and defensively in that game. And we'll talk about how the Ricky Henderson era with the Mets ended. 
What made the Mets release Ricky Henderson? Or what was the ultimate straw that led the Mets to release Ricky Henderson? We're going to tell you why Ricky was released. So you'll want to check out the podcast. And as always, we reminisce about the birthday boys. Did you know that two Met managers, two very prominent Met managers were born on this day? And we're going to tell you who. Plus, a former Met announcer was born on this day. And we're going to tell you who that is. So you'll want to check it out. And as always, we have trivia, Jeopardy, this date in Met history, uh, birthdays, as I said. We have it all. And transactions. So as always, you'll want to check it out. We cover everything from Mets to A to Z. So check us out. New York Mets Baseball Way of Life on podcast. Subscribe. We're on all your major carriers. And if you're not a member of the Facebook group, New York Mets Baseball Way of Life, you really do need to join. It's the best group out there. Pure Met Talk 24-7 from great knowledgeable for fans. And I like to call them friends too. And if you join, you'll be one of those friends joining the click. So that's it for now. We'll be back tomorrow with a preview of tomorrow's podcast. Mad Max goes tonight. We'll tell you all about it. Enjoy the day. Looks like a nice weekend. A chance of showers here and there, but it's warming up in New York, and that is nice to see. So that's it for today. Uh, We'll talk again tomorrow. Uh, Thanks again for watching this. Listen to the podcast. Join the group. And let's go Mets. Talk soon, guys. Have a great day.